burst with the first furlong in the lead and she's up with the pace early on a trevor with a white cap and on the wide outside sunday sports star these two share the lead on matrice and then on the outside of these princess janista in a good position for Hamin, diminuendo settled mid division tracked by sudden love and then uh, behind these comes katina and indian rose and they race for the first quarter mile and it's a trope now by two lengths to sunday sports star in second bahamian racing third princess janista four these are followed then by Anna Matrice, and on the inside of Anna Matrice is Diminuendo, followed by Indian Rose, Miss Boniface, and on the outside is Sudden Love, and then Dub Aware, and Katina is the back marker as they keep up a level gallop going through the first three furlongs, and a trope leading from Sunday Sports Star in second and Bohemian, Bohemian Racing third. A break then of three lengths to Anna Matrice and four Princess to Nista five. Diminuendo mid division is six. Miss Boniface on the inside is seventh. Going the shortest way on the inside is Indian Rose. On the outside of her is Dabba Weir and Katina is the back marker as they breast the rise at the top of the hill just under a mile to race. And it's a trophy with a white cap leading from Sunday Sports Star. The two rank outsiders lead the field in the gold seal oaks where they're setting a good pace for Bohemian who's travelling well in third place and they're halfway now a trophy a trophy leads from in second place sunday sports star next to the rails bahamian racing third these are followed then by Dabba Ware and Diminuendo, who's making a bit of ground, Princess Janista, and on the inside, Anna Matrice. It's still a stroper in the lead. They're well past halfway, just over five furlongs to go. And it's a stroper in the lead from Sunday Sports Star in second, then Princess Janista and Bahamian, Anna Matrice. Diminuendo starts to make ground on the outside of Dabba Ware. Pushed along is Miss Boniface. Behind these comes Sudden Love, who's making good ground. They begin the descent to Tatton and Corner, and the pacemaker, a stroper, wisely running quite wide. But with it on the inside is Sunday Sports Star. And then behind these comes Bahamian, Diminuendo travelling well, Princess Janista in the firing line. They're in line for home, and it's Sunday Sports Star that goes on from Bahamian, but Steve Cawthon travelling strongly with a white Steve jacket on Diminuendo. The pace hasn't been that strong, and Sunday Sports Star now in the next to the rails gives way as Diminuendo bursts on the scene and quickens clear. Diminuendo with just over under two to go, goes three clear of sudden love in second place. Indian Rose staying on with a yellow cap, but Diminuendo has this race so up, they've still got over a fell on to go. But Steve Gawthon punching away on this classy filly Diminuendo is six lengths clear of Sudden Love with Anna Matrice from place coming up towards the line. Diminuendo and Sheikh Mohammed for another impressive victory in the Oaks. Diminuendo wins it. Sudden Love is second, Anna Matrice third. Indian Rose four and then came Bahamian five. Princess Janista an honourable six. Followed then by Katina in seven. Then Miss Boniface and Sunday Sports star Dabba Ware beat one and up one was the pace making a troper and so the result uh, for this, the Gold Seal Oaks is a win for number seven, Diminuendo, the seven to four favourite, Steve Cawthon, brightly beaming all over his face. She's done the job very, very well indeed. Second is number 12, Sudden Love, that one written by Ray Cochran. And third is the French Raider, number one, Anna Matrice, written by Gary Moore. But this was a classy performance from the classy filly in the race, owned by Sheikh Mohammed. Bred by Nancy S. Dillman, trained at Newmarket by Henry Cecil, and ridden by Steve Cawthon. The team that was successful in this race with oh so sharp back in 1985. And of course, Sheikh Mohammed won the big race last year, uh, 1987, with Unite. That one was trained by Michael Stout, whose Dabberware was the big disappointment in the race. Steve Cawthon was beaming as he pulled up because this was a brilliant performance by Diminuendo, who Took a little while to settle. In fact, I don't think she really ever settled into her bridal. And as they turned for home, John, it was a question of uh, the question we've all been asking beforehand: Would she stay? Well, she stayed, and how? Yeah, it's it's this is what you call real professionalism because there was a doubt about her stamina, and yet Steve's taken the bull by the horns here. They've only bet the two and a half for a long mark. He knows that this fit is going to get the trip. She's running away there, and. It was wonderful to watch her. Credit to Henry Cecil as well. I think he's got this filly as well today, better today than she's ever been. And she stays on so strongly. She pulls right away of Sudden Love, who uh, had every chance but simply couldn't live with Diminuendo in the closing stages. Dub away of that second last in the picture. Co caught a heck of a bump from Indian Rose when that filly challenged early in the straight and was knocked onto Katina. That ruined any chance she had, but I don't think it involves this filly at all. She stormed clear. Um, Animatrice, who was close up as they turned into the straight, stayed on at one pace and rallied for a position. Indian Rose flattered briefly on the outside. As I say, she was involved in some scrimmaging, which may have been uh, uh, that filly's fault. But inside the last performance, and shades of oh so sharp again as she stretches up to the line to give Sheikh Mohammed his uh, third open.